What's up, YugiTubers? This is VI3T here today with you with a case of tins. So this is the Illuminite and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon tins. I'm gonna open all 12 tins. I got them for a pretty good price. So here it goes. The reason I bought these tins is because they all come with the four hollows, solemn warning, and uh, Malefic Stardust Dragon. I think Aaron, let's see, Fossil Dyna, Guardian Eados, plus the regular tin foil, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and Illuminite. Solemn Warning is worth between uh, six to seven dollars right now, which is pretty much half the cost of the tin. And the packs in it are still pretty good. So let's see what I get. Rare. Rare. Actually, let me move this up so it's easier to see. Here we go. So in Extreme Victory, it's possible to pull a tour guide. I actually bought a tin case before and pulled one tour guide out of the 12 tins. So I was pretty happy that time. Hopefully I can do it again. Would be nice. Generation Force has Roaches and Levi'ers. It also has some of the older wind-up stuff. Although I'm not particularly interested in that right now. Oh. So in the Illuminite tins, we get Illuminite, Aaron, Dark Soul, Tyrant Neptune, and Solemn Warning. For some reason, a lot of people really like Tyrant Neptune. Maybe it's just the uh, casual players that really like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Tangrasnir. Um, I'm pretty disappointed that Nordic decks are nowhere to be seen anymore. They weren't a great deck, but they were a lot of fun to play. And it's always awesome being able to summon a boss monster that has over 3,000 attack. Yeah, I think that was my first hollow earlier, the Tangrasnir. Everything else seems to be rare. Hopefully I didn't get a bad tin set this time. But it's not looking up just yet. Wow. So far out of 10 packs, I've only gotten one hollow. Let's see if it gets any better. So I'm going to leave the rest of these alone. I don't need to crack them until I need the packs. Steel Shogun Burrito. Too bad Burrito is no good. It's not that Burrito is no good, it's just that he's not as great as Beret. Beret is a lot easier to summon, has a better effect. And overall, gets the combo going much more easily than Burrito does. Hey, Mechlord Emperor Skeel. Second Fuel Zone. Piercing Moray. Next ten. Kageki.
Reborn Tengu. Too bad Tengu's not worth much now either. It used to be like a $15 card. Now it's down to five or six bucks. Generation Force, I'm really looking for. Not Sky Star Ray. I'd really like to get a Roach from Generation Force. Only because Roaches are a good consistent card. And uh, the Xyz unit thing might actually potentially see play because of Roach, especially against Chaos Dragons. So in Stoma Ragnarok, I can still pull Max Cs. They're not worth the uh, $100 that they used to be, but in my opinion, they're still a very good side deck card. It still works well against decks that special summon a lot, Glepnir, such as Heretics. Vampire Dragon, the if only it were broken monster. TG Wonder Magician. And Vision Hero Trinity. So this 10 case cost me around 150 bucks which comes out to about twelve fifty uh... ten which isn't too bad since their normal retail is twenty dollars <laughs> without tax and each ten comes with solemn warning doppel another carrot curry berry Mission swaps. Storm of Ragnarok was definitely my favorite pack. It had uh, the new six samurai monsters. It brought back a dead arch type. <laughs> it probably made it a little bit too broken. We won ten game. But it was a it was a lot of fun to play. Esadari. Six Samurai still have a lot of potential, uh, especially with a 2500 attack Sheehan, so it can get over Lagia if you can summon him. The only thing is you gotta watch out for Dolka negations. But, if you have a strong monster hand, then you have a lot of protection for your Sheehan. Power Gladiator. Absolute Crusader. Down to the last four tens. Let's see if my luck gets any better. Loki. I think right now the best secret rare from Storm of Ragnarok is Max C. Even though it's a card that's slowly dropping more and more each day. <clears throat> uh, 
I may not be able to pull the tour guide in these tins like I did before. But hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll get at least the Steel Swarm Roach. Even though there's only one Gen, S, Gen F pack per tin. Safe zone. Can I at least get a Shein, I wonder? Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> Scrap Orthros. Last five packs from the last tin. And it looks like this tin was not really worth the price. Oh! Actually, maybe it was worth the price. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Nice! So, hey, I pulled it off again. Sweet. I need to get rid of this before the battle pack comes out. But hey, that brightened up my day. One tour guide. This is an awesome 10 now. Doesn't really matter what I get from the other packs because I got the one tour guide that pays for two thirds of this case. Nice. Just amazing. And here I was not expecting anything from the tins. This is actually the second time I've pulled a tour guide from a tin case. Although the last time I had much, much better pulls than this. Here's the final tally of what I cracked from the uh, tin case. Loki, Safe Zone, Scrap Orthros, Tangrasnir, Karish Curry, Burrito, Skeel, Moray, Tengu, Glepner, Vampire Dragon, TG Wonder, Wat Hydra, Vision Hero Trinity, another Tengu and Burrito, Esadari, Power Gladiator, Absolute Crusader, and the Tour Guide from the Underworld. So great pull, tour guide wise, everything else is kind of just like eh. But overall good tin, since I still have 12 solemn warnings and a bunch of limited edition hollows. Thank you for watching, this is VI3T out. Oh!
Actually, maybe it was worth the price. Tour guide from the underworld. Nice. So, hey, I pulled it off again. Sweet. Oh. Actually, maybe it was worth the price. Tour guide from the underworld. Nice. So, hey, I pulled it off again. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Yeah, I don't know.